ends. Put the assembly on the bench. It consists of bearing cover of input shaft, oil sealing, gasket for bearing cover of input shaft, six bolts and spring gasket of two different kinds. Take bearing cover of input shaft with the contact interface upward. Put it straight on the bench. Take oil sealing of bearing cover. Baste lubricating grease with the flat section downward and mount it into the corresponding hole. Take the gasket for bearing cover of input shaft. Aim it at the oil returning groove. Paste it to the bearing cover. Install the two bolts with holes on them into the bearing cover of input shaft. Make sure the oil effusing holes should be symmetrically installed. Then install the other bolts. Assembling ends. Put the hole on the bench. It consists of a nut, flat shim, reverse shaft stop gasket, rolling needle bearing, reverse gear of counter shaft, cup shape reverse gasket, reverse counter shaft, and a flat bottom fastening bolt. Take reverse gear of counter shaft with the side upward, convex side downward. Install bearing into the inner hole of the gear. Knock it flat. Install the inner ring of bearing. Note that the inner rings of bearing cannot be interchanged. Base the mucus on the flat end fixing bolts. Screw it down into the big hole of the reverse idler counter shaft. Then mount the cup shape gasket. Make sure the convex side of cup shape shim is outward. The flat side is inward. Install reverse idler counter shaft. Stop shim of reverse shaft, flat gasket, self locking nut in turns. There are two the same reverse idler gears assembly, which can be interchanged. It consists of top cover, double head bolt, spring, low reverse gear yoke shaft, locking bolt of reverse gear, locking spring of reverse gear, locking cylinder bolt of reverse gear, locking bolt, low reverse gear yoke, steel ball, 1 and 2 speed guide block, 1 and 2 speed yoke shaft, 1 and 2 speed yoke, self locking pin, 3 and 4 speed yoke, 3 and 4 speed yoke shaft, 3 and 4 speed guide block, bolts, steel wire. Take out low reverse speed yoke, install cylinder tuck, spring and fix the cylinder tuck, prevent it from dropping. Install reverse yoke shaft, mount low reverse speed yoke, and screw down the fastening bolt. Install 3 and 4 speed steel ball. Insert 1 and 2, 5 and 6 speed yoke shaft. Pin and 1 and 2, 5 and 6 speed guide block. Mount 1 and 2, 5 and 6 speed yoke. Then install self locking pin. Screw down the fastening bolt. Install steel ball. Install 3 and 4 7 and 8 speed yoke shaft. Install 3 and 4 7 and 8 speed guide block. Install 3 and 4 7 and 8 speed yoke. And screw down the fastening bolt. Tighten the 5 fastening bolts with a plier. Fix the five fastening bolts with steel wire. After that, check up about the self-locking status. Turn the housing. Respectively, put the three steel ball into the top cover housing. Then install another three self-locking spring. Three and four spring is harder and marked with yellow sign. The other two are softer and marked with green signs. It consists of four housing, a bush, oil ceiling, a spring, a spring pedestal, 
horizontal shifting lever. By spring sealing the pin, by locating ring, by sealing the pin, a plug, or spring separating sleeve, or stop bolt, side baffle, M8 times 22 bolt, by locating sealing the tuck, pressed spring, on spring pressure slate, M8 times 12 bolt, a bolt, dust proof cover, E rocker, nut, on bolt, bow shape shim, double edge valve and pipe assembly, in inner hex bolt, spring, neutral switch pin, and switch launcher pin, reverse gear switch control, neutral speed pressure switch, reverse gear pressure switch. Pull the double edge housing on the bench with the smaller end upward. Use tools to install bush onto the housing of double edge controlling device can resort to other approaches. Install another bush from the other end. Use whetstone or file to refine the bush, making sure there is no burr on it. Lubricating grease needed when mount the bush. Slightly knock the oil ceiling into the housing. Turn over the housing. Install the spring and spring set with red paint on it into the housing. Spring set is upward. Aim the pin of spring distance sleeve at the crew hole on the housing. After putting the distance sleeve in the housing, base the milkers on the locating bolt. Screw down locating bolts. Install the locating ring into the horizontal shifting lever. Then insert the spring pin into the pin hole on the locating ring. Slightly knock it flat with no protrusion. Install the horizontal shifting lever into double edge housing. Attach the plug to the horizontal lever. Be careful about the direction of the plug. Then install the reverse controlling block on horizontal shifting lever. The pin hole on con Trailing block should be aiming at the pin hole on the lever. Push the horizontal shifting lever inward. Make sure that the pin hole in shifting plug is aiming at the pin hole on the shaft. Insert spring pin into the pin hole. Knock it flat and install spring cylinder pin into the plug. Knock it in. Then put in steel wire and use a plier to fasten it. Pull the locating cylinder tuck into the double edge housing. Use lubricating grease when install the cylinder tuck. Pull the spring into the hole on the cylinder tuck. Then mount gasket and use bolts to fasten spring pressing slate onto the housing. Use the same method to install the opposite cylinder. Rotate the housing. Insert spring into the pedestal and put it into the housing. The pedestal is facing inward. Use the cover to press the spring and fix it to one side of the double edge housing with four bolts. Put the double edge housing straight standing on the bench. Mount dust proof cover and install the shifting rocker on horizontal lever. Direction of the shifting rocker's head should be in the same line as the plug. Insert fastening bolts into screw holes on the shifting rock and screw them down. Rotate the double edge assembly. Install mutual speed cylinder pin and reverse cylinder pin into the double edge housing. Rotate the mutual speed switch, reverse speed switch and bronze gasket. Then install them into the double edge housing. Lubricating grease should be basted on the reverse pin when mounting. Install double edge valve and windpipe assembly. Use copper stick to knock the bowl shape shim into the housing. Install it into the vent plug. Assembling of double edge controlling assembly ends.